welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in today we are going to be building another new tamiya kit it is the volkswagen golf gti 16 valve it's on the mf 01x chassis I've got a couple of these already I've got the beetle i've got the um the escort but i put that on the m08 chassis and then when this come out i was definitely gonna get it so at first i thought it was stick it was a um, paint job the stripes in it but they're not they're all stickers so that's uh so you either like it or you hate it but yeah i think it's going to make the job a hell of a lot easier so we've got only got one upgrade for it really we're going to use the um stock esc and the torque tune motor and we're going to be putting a set of cv minis shocks on it and then i think it'll be pretty much good to go i'm going to pair it up with this um sr3100 receiver get them from ebay for about 12 pound they're going to pair up with me dx5 pro spectrum transmitter and we've also got these jx low profile servos nice little servos get them from china for about 13 pound if you're lucky but yeah looking forward to building this one nice little four wheel drive kit it's a pity it's not um authentic to the car which was a front wheel drive obviously but yeah boys really looking forward to it. hopefully it shouldn't take that long let's have a look in the box and see what we get and here we go guys let's look inside the box see what we get so you've got your rally tires then wheels that are used on quite a few kits it's got the motor plate the rear hubs the front gearbox the rear gearbox the sections for making it longer or shorter wheelbase the bulletproof diffs gear diffs the front knuckles the rear hubs bags a through to d the friction shocks that we won't be using the body pout the body mounts the battery stays the lights it's you can fully upgrade it using led lights but we're just going to be using the stickers we're going to be using cva minis the front and rear bumpers beautifully molded this iconic body you can't beat tammy's level of detail when it comes to body shells the front grill, the iconic 1980s or 1990s shape, shouldn't have any problems with it. Instruction manual, stickers with the window masks, we'll have a look at the stickers. So there we go, all the colour on it, stickers, so hopefully we can just line them up and we'll be good to go. But yeah boys, going to jump straight into it get this kit started and there you go guys you really don't get much in the kit but this is a great entry level four wheel drive car if you want to step up your game go from two wheel drive to four wheel drive and you're into your rally cars the mf01 x chassis is a great choice so we're going to jump straight into step a number three which is starting that rear diff so we're going to start the rear diff get it in the gearbox then we're going to finish at step six, which is basically getting that rear gearbox done. Yep. So we'll get that done and then we'll come back. The rear gearbox will be finished. Oh, yes, it will. There you go guys, step one through to seven done, that rear gearbox is complete. Now we're moving on to step eight, which is prepping the servo. So you want to um, connect it up to your radio and all that stuff, connect it up to your um, electronic speed controller. Make sure your trims are neutral and then get your servo saver on. Always neutralize the servo when you get it brand new because it's it's never in the correct position so connect it up to your servo your radio it'll neutralize then put your servo saver on so we're doing step eight 
through to step 11 which is basically starting the front end the front steering system so yeah boys we'll do that next stay tuned And there we go guys there's step a complete that servo in there just make sure you use the right spaces you want the screw to line up with the line that line there you want that line there to line up with the middle of your screw just get your steering trim correct so yeah make sure you do that because every spline on the servo is not necessarily in the same position so you've got to spline it out um there's something else i wanted to mention as well well, it escapes me now. Yeah, so yeah, just make sure you get your screw in the middle of that chassis line, and that's step, step A done. So now we're moving on to step B, which is starting that front diff. Starting the front gearbox, and then getting the two halves of the gearbox together. So when we come back, both gearboxes will be finished. Oh, yeah. Here we go boys and girls both gearboxes done front and rear now we're gonna put the chassis two ends of the gearboxes together make sure that you use the right parts for the corresponding wheelbase this is a long wheelbase so if you flick a few pages it'll show you what parts you've got to use to make it a long wheelbase so we're going to get both halves of the chassis done and then we're going to get the prop shaft in and get them um prop shaft covers on so yeah when we come back step c will be done yeah boys Here we go guys, step A and B done, that is the chassis complete. So now we're moving on to step C, which is starting to get the four corners of the car on. So we're going to plod our way through C, get the shocks on, get the rear wishbones on, get the upper turnbuckles, uh, yeah, and then that'll be it. So step C is all about getting that rear end done. So we're going to get the rear end done and then that'll be step C done. Yeah, boys. And there we go guys, this step C done. Took a bit of adjustment because um one of the sides kind of hangs lower than the other when you follow it to the book on the high settings. So I've just instead of going on the highest hole on this rear hub, I've gone to the lowest. It just brings it up a little bit. Because that the um upright catches on the um drive shaft cover. So you don't get equal droop on each side so yeah that's a rear gearbox the rear end of the car done shocks on drive shafts on body mounts now we're moving on to step d which is um starting that front end so all the shocks are already built built up four shocks so um we'll do step d which is basically getting the front suspension on and then it's a case of getting the motor in and the electronics and then the car is practically finished well it is finished it's just the body that we've got to finish after that so yeah yeah boys come back 
and the front end of the car will be on? Oh yes it will. Here is the chassis complete. I've added um, sponges to the um, inner tyres just to give them a bit more, um, a bit more solidness to them rather than them just being air filled. I don't remember seeing any in the box, so luckily I had a spare. Also, when you add in the flange bearings, you only use one. I ordered a set of bearings from China and they would have took too long to get here so I bought the um, flange bearings separately but if you turn to page 23 it shows you that you only put one on the inner front and rear on the inside of the front and rear on the outside you use a normal um, one of them small little bearings with, um, with a B2 part so that was the only thing I meant to I meant to mention it before, but yeah. So we'll have a listen, see what she sounds like. Not expecting her to break any land speed records with that torque tune motor in. Hope I've turned it on. Yep, plenty of steering. Plenty of power for a little chassis like this. So, yep, I enjoyed that. Always enjoy building these MF01X chassis. Them um, mini damper sprint, mini damper shocks. Definitely going to help it out. Still needs tuning up a little bit. It's always a little bit springy on the back. So, yeah, boys, when we come back, the chassis, the body will be done and this car will be complete. And there you go, guys. I'm going to call that finish. That was a lot of work. I um, didn't follow the book when I put the stickers on. So it, it worked out all right. I just like, you know, jumping straight in and getting it, especially when you've got an amount of stickers like this has got. Just use your common sense, look at the book, but just like go for the biggest, get the biggest ones done first. So the main difficult one is getting this one lined up, that middle one, that top window one. If you don't get that lined up, nothing else lines up. But yeah. There's a couple of slight errors where it's like 0.5 of a millimetre. There's a slightest of gaps, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to body shells, especially as something as stunning as this. But yeah, very happy with how it turned out. That lovely back end. I don't think any car's got a nicer back end than the Golf has got. Yeah, Golf GTI added to the collection. So yeah, it's got talk to your motor in it. Yep, not too bad so yeah another car finished guys as always thanks very much for tuning in onto the glory shots